of drawers from Ikea and I've just sorted all my stuff out oh my god where did all that stuff come from so I thought what I could do is go through it with you and show you what I use and how it's all stored so at the top of this cabinet well set of drawers in the corner we'll start with this one first I'm allowed a corner of the conservatory <laughs> to work out of. So here, first of all, I have my hygiene disinfectant swipes. That is my little cup with my tools in that I dip in and out of all the time. And behind here we have my swipe. I'm just getting in here for you. I have my swipe, my monomer. I have my... Oh, 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 I have all my monomer. <laughs> I'm not going to get it all out, but my, as you can see, monomer's lined up behind there, as well as my uh, disinfectant things. The top of these sets of drawers, I keep my inks are here. I have my jelly nails here. This is what I use on myself. So dehydrator, uh, Pro Bond. I've got your nails Pro Bond. That's in the drawer at the bottom. This is what I use on myself and people. There's MAC top coat, uh, primer, acid primer, all of that there. My nail brushes, my hard gel. Oh. This is my craft knife, you've seen that. And this I use, people are like, what's that for? I've got two of these. One I use for Zaflora down the back of the sink. You know the little hole at the bottom of your bath and your, um... <laughs> here we are on the nail video, we're talking about Zaflora. Uh, the back of the hole, the overflow hole on your toilet and your bath, I use that to do the Zaflora to put that down there. If I put it down the sink, it gets washed away. We've always got the taps running here. Um, and then that I use for the monomer. Here I have my palettes, sponge, more palettes, fishing wire there that I use to cut my things. And then you know, Costa sticks that I stick my tips on when I do lives and things. Brushes, lots of brushes. So that's the top of that. Masking tape to put on my flexi hand to do sculpting and then my little measuring things from any i think they were from primark or something then i have these drawers so this first drawer has my gems in it it has all my stones so these are the pointy back side these are the flat backs i put them in size and colors extras are in here that i get from certain places and then i've got my uh, stick it in here my trays and my gem bling picker upper second drawer down here we have um, charms so these are Fimos at the back here crystals pixie crystals that are not pixies crystals they're intim intimidations <laughs> um, oh, can you hear that puppy Bloody bringing that bell. Uh, dried flowers, another bling picker upper, shell, so anything that goes on the nails that isn't an actual gem goes in this drawer. So again more charms here, the tops and then my little dappen dishes that I use for ice profile alcohol when I'm doing nail art. Feathers, these are from Smiley's Glitter Store. Uh, shells so what I have in the shells there's a pile there like thick with uh, lots of different colors lots of different shades that was in one of my Aliexpress hauls different colored foils 
and these are actually materials so I'm not going to get all that out. This side we have more materials so this is the netting, you've seen me use this lots of times. I've got this from Rebecca Abathenny and I got that oh, when I first started so I would say at least 12 months ago if not more. What are these? More materials, effects that you get on nails. This is like a webbing material, lots of different colours in that. Again, Smiley's Gift Store. Leaves, lots of different colours, but they're leaves. More materials. More! And then there are fibres there. And there's a set of 12 all different colours. That's my materials drawer. Moving along, we have my folders that hold my foils. So this one is lots and lots of foils. It is a card holder that kids have for collector's cards. There's lots of different colours. They're all labelled. So these are the shell type foils, marble type foils. I'm trying to do it one handed, guys. Animal print. Lots and lots and lots. They're double sided so they have pockets on both the left and the right side, so both sides. Lots and lots of foils. Uh, flowers, these are all flowers, these ones. And then at the back, I put occasional ones, so Christmas, Valentine's Day sort of thing that's in the back it's that one I have these there's three of these and I keep all my stickers so striping tape they're all different colours slide the cards in there if they don't fit cut them make them fit you're gonna cut them out anyway so galaxy flowers 3d flowers decals all decals and stickers are in here and like I said I've got three of those and moving along from that I have my forms in my little roller I've had that forever these are my big pots that don't fit in my drawers and then my little dap and dish it's too nice to use from ugly duckling and then I've got these little drawers that I keep gels that are just a little bit different so they're all labeled up so thermochromic liquid metal back here so metal effect drawing 3d sculpting gel lots of those this is the flower so this is gel that has bits of flour in it and these are the top coats with glitter 3D moulds, oh, I've got loads of these. I mean, seriously, I've got so many of these. It's ridiculous. Full bag, just full. Full, lots and lots of different ones. Put them back. So, that's those. What's this one? We have spider gel. Again, lots and lots of different coloured spider gels. I've put them on top so I can see, without opening the lids, exactly what shade they are. So that helps me. I've got pigments at the bottom. These are glow in the dark. And then the bright at the back. So they're in bags so they don't make a mess. And then acrylic paints are over here. It's for me one stroke. So that is the top. That's just the top of this here. So these drawers are in the corner out of the way because it's more for stock. So here I have masks, soak off, so I've got little nail clips, and I've also got soak off bowls there, wood sticks at the back, and then I go on to the nail tips. I've got squares in one, and I've got stilettos in a another. Then I go on to the things, this is like what I use all the time. So I've got me Navy Pro Tools here, two of those. Soak off, 
stock. This is what I actually keep my soak off stock in. They're all in there. It's easy to get to when I'm soaking off. <laughs> I have my labeler and under that are the cartridges to go inside. And then this is my little battery pack that I use when I'm doing lives because my phone is old that I record on and it doesn't keep very good battery. And then again, I've got these little bowls at the back. I'll just grab these. And these are great in summer to put ice water at the bottom and then to sit my monomer in. So I use those in summer. Two of those. And then some goggles. My goggles here for taking off bling and I don't take my eye out. Moving on to the second drawer stock. Okay, so this is stickers and decals but these are seasonal so it's christmas saint patrick's day easter things like that so they're in the drawer out the way these are my tips and this is stock this is like for when i run out these are my pops so they're in a tin there so that's that then i have wipes so lint free wipes here in here are my sharpies and acrogel and these are the what i use on my desk they're actually dental bibs but again it's stock this drawer is just stock so i don't run out oh guys it's what it says on the tin so these are glitter mats um, Posable things that go on. Hang on. So things to take photos with, basically, and then my glitter mats and my silicon mats for my desk. That's what's on next. Here. Two are the same. It's files and buffers. So again, it's just stock. Just use that. See, I've got files underneath there. Still in its packaging. I basically buy it and just it straight in here. I think these are CJP ones. Uh, yeah. So, sorry for wiggling the fr uh, frame and things like that, but I am trying to do this one-handed and show you, but I've basically got two little tubs full of files, and the purple one there has my metal file boards in there and replacements as well as some more buffers. If I do do a person... I don't keep them, I don't wash them, I throw them away after each person and that's why I like to have stock. So here we have more stock. So this is a box that I've got all my top coats in, preps, glue, I mean, nails pro bond, it's still in there. I've got more hard gel. That should go up there really. Anyway, it's more stock there. Back there, I've got tools. So here are more. Hang on, I've just shoved these on top. So they're tools. So I've got more tools so I don't run out. And also, they're good for when I sterilise. You know, if I sterilise things, and I've got somebody else coming in, which I don't do a lot of people, not anymore, but basically that's what I used to use it for. These are. And on guys, these are brushes that don't have lids, so I keep those like that. Then I have these are my arbor bands, nail guards, more um, forms. These are the replacement paraffin wax at the back here. This is my paraffin. What is it? Paraffin what? <laughs> and this is an empty one. So this is what I use to... There we go. So that's what I put my stickers and decals in. And that's the bottom drawer. Next to those drawers, I have my um, trolley. Now I have... The bottom has all my liquids in. So I've got prep, acetone, IPA... Then I've got in the second one up, there's more equipment. So I've actually got a spare UV lamp and e-file. And then containers are in the 
top two and there's nothing in that very top one then we're moving on to the second drawer now this one is next to my desk i've got a pull out trolley desk and everything that is on the top i use and i go for all the time so we'll start with this that's right pull for that and then i've got my artisan gel paints go for that and my dust collector that's on there. In front of that I've got my uh, cuticle oil and my brush stand so my brush will go across that. I basically just lift it off and put it on my desk. I put this on my desk to put my wipes in because it's just easier to get it out of there than it is to get it out of this. That's a pain in the arse. It's sort of like to store it in and to keep the dust off that's why but this is handy to have on my desk when I'm working then I've got my Melody Susie e file a little bin that I put on my desk while I'm working again and then my gloves sorry as you can see it's at the kitchen window they're the eggs <laughs> then what I wouldn't do without absolutely would not do without and this is what I go for all the time so I don't clutter up my desk. So we've got acetone, gel remover, buffing block, e-file bits, LED light, my Moira monomer, that's for when I do myself. I've got two little monomer drawers. I have two, one for the colour and one for clear. So I'll have a drop of whatever monomer I'm using in both. Foil gel, matte top coat, tack free top glass, base coat and uh, blue sky that I use for nail art, swaps, they come out the bottom, perfect, one at a time, monomer, dispenser, e-file replacements so these are for the um, metal file boards, I'm going to do a video on that because I have been asked, this is my favourite, you can tell it's worn out, <laughs> I need to re uh, get some replacements out for them, but we'll come across those in a minute. Here we have buffers and nail brush. My tools that I use and I reach for all the time. Tape, again, I put that on for sculpting. And then that's my IPA. So this is basically, I'm whizzing this around all the time I'm working, pulling things off as and when I need it. For the videos for you i love it and i wouldn't be without it it's at the side of me but it doesn't clutter up my desk and i've got everything i want in one space love it uh amazon i got this off and it's just a turntable off amazon and then obviously for wiping the desk i use the navy uh hygiene disinfectant and detergent so i've got everything on top as i need it let's move down to the drawers should we start start at the bottom this time oh up and gone so here i have my gel polishers they're in color so each little case has a color in it the tins at the back here have pigments in that little bag has cables and these are my apron Moving up a drawer, we have stamping. So I have my stamping plates here. So all my stamping plates there. I have a clear jelly stamper, my set of colours at the back there. In here I have stamping gel and extra that's my new one I'm saving that it's my fave I brought some of the cheap ones to do chroming with I did it on my live it was very well received but I don't want to put chrome all over my clear jelly stamper because I love her so I brought some cheap ones to do that so that's to have a play with these are my stamping polishers then this is the bit that I'd go for all the time so I've got my clear jelly stamper, lint free roller, my scrapers, little sponges and they're my reserves at the back and then here on this side 
all my glitter pieces these are not sorry if i turn it that way you're going to end up these are glitter pieces so here you can see i've got under the sea butterflies flowers then i've got valentines and hearts it's all labeled so i can read for it and i know exactly stars see and this is all my big pieces so this isn't glitter this is just the big pieces that we can use on our nails this is what i tend to get off aliexpress the actual glitter itself i don't tend to get from aliexpress i usually get it from the glitter fairy and Sonny williams but that's all changed hasn't it now this is glitter so each tray has a colour in it let's go for this one because it's just handy dandy and this is red so underneath will be a full red on top will be the red that i'm decanting into so this is how i store my so this is how i store my glitters each one of these and it has one of these and it holds five grams this and it's perfect i label it up and when i'm done i can just take the label off if i need it for another color or what have you so we've got blue green silver and gray at the back there i don't know what this is let's have a look purple white red i think this is gold yes gold i put orange under the yellow because i've not got many of these orange and yellow and then there's three pink can you believe it three pink so that's my glitter color order i can reach for it see it as i go these are my shirovsky crystals shirovsky crystals and these are mine nobody else's they're just mine i love them but i only put them on myself i do not put these on the um practice hand these go on people so that's that top drawer last drawer is again things that i reach for all the time so where should we start so at the back here i've got my curly whirly highly weary replacements i absolutely love her files and this is another metal in here and the buffers there in here as well so that's those they're easy reach because I do change them out a lot. These are tacky. These are the dental bits. So this is what I use on my desk. It has a plastic backing. So if I wipe my monomer, it doesn't go through to all my stuff and ruin everything. In here I have fishing wire. In there I have my sterilisation UV thing. I've got a barbicide uh, tube, but that's actually in the other room working at the moment. So moving across, we have the full tips that I use on the display tips. Here I have my finger cots. Here is nail heaven. So all the ones that I use, have used in my videos, they're all in this bag. I don't know quite what to do with them. Any ideas? I just don't have room to see. I'm only allowed a little corner. Shove them in there. And then we move on to the tips that I use on the practice hand all the time. So stilettos in here, they are all labelled. So stiletto in here, ballerina, nail bed tips, tapered square, and these are the almonds. These are new actually, I got these out while I was sorting out yesterday, sorting out my drawers. I got one of the clear and one of the natural, put them in there. They're just sandwich bags that I use in my bin, just to line it so I can just scoop it up, put it in the bin, done. And at the back are these super long, extra long stilettos you can get all of these from ebay all of them i used to get them from ebay way before i discovered aliexpress and you just put in ballerina tips almond tips um don't put in nail beds they're from uh, where are they from glitter planet i haven't tried them yet i need to put in tapered square full tips or stiletto full tips and you will get these and these are just what I use on the hand. I get asked that all the time. 
So again, this is my top drawer and this is what I reach for all the time. And that's it. That's my second lot of drawers. Now we're gonna move over to the very last bit of this video. And that is my acrylics. Where do I store my acrylics? So this is my brush. So I have a gel brush with, um, there, that's a striper there. I just sorted it out yesterday. I moved it all around, so I'm not quite sure where everything is. So this is gel. I can see by looking at that, that's gel there, art brushes and acrylic brushes. So that's those. I use that on my desk all the time, this one. I will fill it up as and when I use it. So that's my cover powder, white, and that's empty. I think I need to put my clear in there and give that a good clean. I noticed it was disgusting yesterday, so it needs a clean. Then I'm going to come down to my drawers, and this is how I store my coloured acrylics. So in the bottom is all sorts. So I have Young Nails, NTS and Nao. I've literally just emptied these two today. These had my glam and glitz in. Then I move on to CJP. They're in colour order. I'll try to be. I put a file in between to uh, separate the colours. And then I've got a drawer just full of cool powders. So that's CJP. And then the next three is Moira. Again, try and keep it in colour order where I can. Separate it with brushes that I don't use anymore here. So my big Moiras are up here. But I can't fit them in my drawer, the two top. The top drawer has my core powders and clear. This, I've kept this, it's a little one. And I decant into that and use it on my desk. And then the colour pops are all at the back if I need them. Because I don't do clients, I get them out as and when I need them. Then guys, that's the end of, end of this video. So this is my little corner of the world. My little nail heaven. I want to thank both my partner and my son for putting these drawers together and making a little special corner for me which I love and having a little sort out was ace. For those of you <laughs> that I know are going to comment, that's right, that's where my cup of coffee goes. <laughs> it should have said uh, forget the uh, coffee and bring me wine shouldn't it? Anyway. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry about that. Anyway, so this is the end. This is how I set up. I have a little desk that rolls into the corner and I pull it out as and when I work. Everything is at the side of me, around me, and I can get to it straight away. That's absolutely sound and I love it. So guys, this is the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Until next time, bye.